And Susan Spencer is here with us now. Susan, just a fascinating story, as all the 48-hour stories are. So were prosecutors convinced that this had been staged as a crime scene? They were convinced that this was a setup from the get-go. Yeah. They didn't even think Julie Gonzalez had a knife. Um, their scenario is that they had this fight, he shot her, took the knife, and put it in her hand. Wow. Um, so, you know, there's only two people in that kitchen, right. and one of them can't tell us what happened. And the prosecution's theory was that every single thing that the other one, Art Gonzalez, said was essentially a lie. Yeah, but they're having a hard time uh, convincing others, I think, which now we're talking about three trials. How, how Can unusual you is that? It? Three trials over two years. Yeah. The first jury comes back 10 to 2 to acquit. The second jury comes back 10 to 2 to convict. Mm. The, they all throw up their hands. They don't know what to do. The prosecution is determined that they're going to continue with this case. Mm. So they all agree finally to a bench trial, which just means that the judge is the judge and jury. There is no jury. And uh, she made the final call on Art Gonzalez. Wow. Mm. You, you mentioned the story of Julie and Arthur Gonzalez was complicated. Uh, and I want to hear a little bit more about that. But had she ever drawn a knife on him or acted violently towards him According at all? According to her friends, this was, you know, a confused, perhaps, but very gentle person. Um, on the other hand, it, it's also acknowledged that she did have some drinking problems. Um, and, you know, Art is going around documenting these problems on his cell phone. Every mm. time the woman would get drunk, he would take a picture of her for future use. Well, that makes it even more uh, suspicious. Like, why are you doing Sounds that? Like <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Um, but their, their relationship was, you know, tortured, to say the least. They were in the middle of a contentious divorce. And what you believe about the relationship, interestingly enough, has a lot to do with whether or not you think this is self-defense. Because if, in fact, she was enraged and upset and, you know, then she would come at him with a knife, he, he would have to defend himself. Her friends say, no, she was ready to move on. You know, she was done with this. I can't so. wait to see how this turns mm -hmm. out. Susan Spencer, <laughs> We thank never you tell. Very, I know. We know. That's why you got to watch. You got to watch. watch. Thank you very much, Susan Spencer. You can watch Susan's full report, Eliminating the Threat on 48 Hours. That is tomorrow night on CBS after, after the NCAA basketball game. We are back after a quick break. This is CBSN.